Hello, it's Ernesto. I'm a film composer and I make these videos to document my career as one. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, consider subscribing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have done it. After my most popular videos being the ones where I show how I score movies and TV shows with exclusively free samples, I have done it. I bought a sample library. I now own Spitfire's BBC Symphony Orchestra Core Edition. I previously had the Discover Edition, which I had gotten for free. And I would have loved to go for the pro version because it has things like a bass clarinet and a core anglais, which I think is pretty core, but it's, it's fine for now. What is cool is that Spitfire does have discounts for each tier, so if you had Discover, it, it, you get $50 off of core, and if you have core, you get like, I don't know, $450 off of pro or something like that. So naturally, someday I do plan on getting the pro version, but that's only when, number one, I can afford the extra 500 some dollars that it would cost to upgrade, and two, when I have a machine that would be capable of running it. I have a low-end MacBook Pro from a couple years ago, and its main problems are memory, and it gets really hot. So if you hear a fan, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. So today, we're going to play around with the core version, get to know it a little bit. I might uh, write something with it. Now I know beforehand that I won't be able to use the full orchestra at once because my computer doesn't have that much memory in it and I know I won't be able to, to do all of it. So I'm gonna choose a small selection of instruments to use and then we'll write something with that uh, small ensemble. But that's what we'll do now. So let's get to it. Okay, launching Logic Pro right now. I fired it up, it loaded up the Violins 1 for me automatically, which is fine I suppose. I don't think I'm going to use all of these playing techniques, so I'm going to edit these so I am not using as much RAM as when they're all, all of the playing techniques are loaded. So let's, uh, let's get to know it a little bit. Okay, so that was a quick walkthrough through uh, some of the legatos on some of these instruments. I think they sound very, very, very nice. Very natural. So I kind of have an idea of what I want to write using core. I'm thinking a small woodwind ensemble, a patch of strings, um, a horn, very small group. Okay, I've got my little... Um, ensemble here couple winds couple strings and that's it let's see what we can make with this okay i'm thinking i want to start with the clarinet
So I had absolutely no plan going into this, but I came out on the other end with a waltz. I really like the library a lot. I think it sounds great. The instruments sound great and the legato sound great. Only thing that's still finicky for me is performing with the modulation wheel. That's, that's something that I have to get used to, but I know I'll get more comfortable with it. Uh, with practice, I might go a little more in depth, maybe specifically with the percussion section, because I'm very familiar with those instruments, so I want to see if I want to see how they sound. So I'll probably make a video about that. But until then, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Ernesto Composer. You can visit my website at ErnestoComposer.com. Thanks so very much for watching, and as always, take care.